Hey guys, Ryan here with BoxGuard Security. In this video series, we're going to take a look at our Honeywell Vista 20P programming section by section. Let's take a look. Okay, so the first thing we are going to do here is we are going to program zones 1 through 8. Um, there are some other programming that we're going to skip past, but by programming zones 1 through 8, uh, as no response that will simplify the programming process so that as we enter and exit programming you're not going to have to worry about trouble beeps fire alarms triggering and uh, that type of stuff so to enter the zone programming we're going to go to star five six <clears throat> we're going to select zero which is already there, so we're going to hit star. It's going to jump us right to zone number one, star. And you'll see uh, in this summary readout that this is zone one, programmed as zone type nine, which is fire, partition one. That's the code that is reported to the central station. It is a hardwired end of line zone. Hardwired end of line. So we're going to change a couple things here. And we're going to go 0, 0. We're going to disable this zone. We're not going to delete it. We're going to do the same thing for zone 2, which is programmed as a 0, 1, which is exit entry. And I'm going to show you how to change this to normally closed. You can change this on zones 2 through 8 from end of line to normally closed, depending on how your system is wired. For simplicity, um, we're going to do normally closed. And <clears throat> I'm intentionally going to make a mistake here and then show you how to find it and correct it because that is something that you're going to you're going to run into while you're programming you're going to miss things you're going to make errors and I'm going to show you the right way and the wrong way to do something uh, so this is going to give you your summary we're not going to program the alpha for the key for the zone we're going to go right to zone 3 and this one is programmed as a perimeter, which is 0, 3. We're going to change that to 0, 0. I'm not going to delete it. Zone 4, 0, 0. I'm not going to delete it. Zone 5, same thing. Zone 6. Zone 7, Zone 8. Now, once we get to Zone 8, that is the end of the hardwired zones on the Vista 20P. Zone 9 would start either a hardwired expansion, like the 4219, or that would be the beginning of your wireless zones depending on how your system is configured so right now we're gonna hop out of zone programming and that's gonna take us back to this basic menu and from there we can go back to the regular start 20 which is our first field or any other field that we're gonna program right now we're gonna hop out of programming and then we're gonna find the, the mistake and I'm going to show you how to correct it. <clears throat> now, the Vista 20P will prompt you to hit star for faults, and it's going to show you fault 2. And the reason for that is we programmed zone 2 as a perimeter or an entry exit, and we did not eliminate that zone. So, pretty simple. Hop back into programming.
and during the first video we changed that installer code to 4321 which is important that you write that down we're going to go back to star 56 we're not going to confirm it we can go right to zone 2 and then you'll see here that it's entry exit this will help you identify how the zone is programmed without uh, going through the entire menu so we're just going to change this to 00, zero. we're not going to delete it 00, zero to exit star 99 to exit programming and now we will have a green light disarmed ready to arm the advantage of uh, killing those first eight zones first is as you enter and exit programming as you're testing things, getting your feet wet, kind of learning the flow of programming, um, you're not going to have to worry about physically closing off those zones on the board or fire alarms, burglar alarms going off. It'll make it a much easier process for you. That's always what I do as step one with programming. Just turn those first eight zones off. After that, we're going to hop into programming zones 95, 96 and 99. Uh, those are your emergency zones and we're going to get into that next.